Owning and operating a small business is not only exciting and rewarding, but the pains and the struggles experienced by many operators, look, it's very real. Let me know if this sounds familiar. Focusing a lot of time on building repeat customers. Trying to find the right niches. Painstakingly searching for new leads. Unsure of whose advice to trust. Doing it all yourself. Wondering why people aren't engaging in your marketing. Juggling cash flow so everyone got paid. And having cash flow limit your growth ideas for your business. Keeping good supply credit ratings, um, feeling very exhausted by servicing everyone else's needs but your own or your family's. Not paying yourself what you're worth. Worrying over putting the prices up and preventing those complaints. After Bass and Super go past, wondering if there's anything left in the pot for you. Hoping that there was going to be a delayed gratification moment for you to recoup all those funds that you haven't paid yourself or you've put money into the business when you go to sell. I too thought there had to be an easier way to work and make money. The road I've traveled has been a similar journey. Owning and operating an established caravan park for eight years where five of those years were blitz until we hit burnout. We had grown a tired old rundown business to a $2.275 million venture. The last three years we had made radical changes um, just to have our own inner peace. Unfortunately, the tide still turned and at 39, it took a divorce to disrupt my financial comfort zone. I felt like I had to start again and geez, it was really scary. Learning was the key to having to pull my way back and into a safer financial status. Over six years and probably more than $120,000 later, trained by the best mentors in the industry, I'm pretty sure now I'm well versed in wealth and business building knowledge. So much so, I'm back in business, again, facing the same sort of dilemmas as you are, but now with a clearer way forward of what I want. I'm hungry to keep improving my own wealth, growing my ability to contribute to the nonprofit organisations that I believe in as it aligns with my values. What have I done? I've created a home study course. Um, it was about a winning mindset that can conquer the limiting beliefs that seem to halt you. Um, I created another one on personal wealth that can show easy strategies how to build up your portfolio. I recently authored a best-selling book in the US and Australia, and now I'm designing my life better to be aligning with my values. I'm an interested investor in property, um, and right now I'm relentless in my drive to help business owners achieve an easier life, as these guys are the visionaries, people that will create true change in the world. I have good practical knowledge being trained by the best in the interest that I know can really help another. I think more wealth I can help people build, freeing up more time and growing more money. My clients would want to pay it forward. Business is the building block of our economy and it's one of the best investments to be amongst. Through my journey, I've helped a colleague in the caravan park business solely work on things that he as an operator couldn't afford the time to do so. We lifted his presence and his brand, partnered with more influential booking agents, and we got into bed with the tourism officers. We got recognised as an accredited business that now was award-worthy. Two great mentors, Chris Duncan and Tony Robbins, made me understand that by helping others, it's more profound in wanting to create real change in the lives beyond myself. My direction changed to align my values and how I wanted to live how I wanted to utilize my time and what I wanted out of my time on this earth. It was clear that I knew that I was a teacher in nature and that I wanted to rescue others in need. So I embraced this quality and characteristic in myself, benefiting others and still learning and growing for myself and wanting just for a kinder world. My real love for making money and building personal wealth is driven by the love of opportunities and choice. It gave me great satisfaction and a sense of achievement that I could. It was only when I spoke to my mentor, Chris Duncan, who lives and breathes his want to help businesses find a, you know, a good sense of freedom, saw that traditional businesses that upheld the community had some real struggles in areas that I knew I could understand and that I could help and that I've been there years before. In my local area alone, we've just seen economic downturn for the last four years and then a Category 4 cyclone just ripped through, leaving destruction in its wake. Businesses really had to hang on and pull out everything they had to ride the wave 
until the insurance repairs kicked in and the loads of tradie people would come up and then their families and then tourism sparked and which in turn it all just helped to pick the economy up again. But sadly, some businesses didn't make it. I felt I wanted to help too. People were hurting and I had business and wealth building knowledge full of strategies that could really mean life and death for them. I knew I had to help. And it became clear that business owners were crying out for some more direction, more processes to building more cash flow to overall wealth so that they could get their life back and you know get their own needs fulfilled. When you boil it down, it's only ever time, money and focus were the areas needing attention. And when asked of these businesses the one thing that they craved, it was systems. But we really needed to know what did that mean? Systems in their mind were business practices that could run day to day without hesitation. Systems that allowed them to have more breaks away from operating instead of feeling married to the business. Systems that showed that they could grow their business by tweaking a few processes and changing the way they spent their time. Systems that involved hiring people, you know, to add to the business talent pool and that could take a hold of the opportunities that came knocking. Systems that showed business owners how to grow their own wealth and live by the values that they held dear. The hidden benefits of growing your business and gaining a better work-life balance is learning that strategies can be applied to any business to raise its turnover and that you're important and you matter and you actually have, get to have a life too. Your family is too valuable to miss. They're your greatest asset. Your personal wealth should not be left to chance. It is the aim of the game. That's why you got into business in the first place. I'm Meg Hogan and I'm here to help. In fact, I'm going to give you the first step in helping you to free up some more time and ramp up your productivity by minor tweaks. So comment below and share this video out if you want to help others too. Five must do strategies to double your productivity as a small business owner. Look, it's a free report. Tony Robbins has a two millimetre rule. Just by preparing for a golf swing, by moving a little bit two millimetres here and two millimetres there, it can make a world of difference to what happens in the end goal or in this stage where your ball's going to land. This report is your two millimetre rule. A first step to detailing ways to manage your time wisely so you can find the much needed time to actually manage your business and not just work in it. Good or good? Click the link below. Have a super day, guys.